So I've got a little story to tell you. We've had chickens uh, since 2015. Okay. Uh, we, we bought our first chickens in May of 2015, and they uh, they were laying, you know, later on that year, and um, the next year, you know, they were laying in the prime. You know, they were a year old, and we had a garden, and we had all the stuff we were we were working on, you know, developing, and we woke up one morning and let the chickens out, and uh, noticed that all the corn we had was torn down. All of our corn. We had a whole row of corn. We do our corn differently now. At least try to. But uh, actually, I didn't see. I was at work, and Angela texted me at work, and she said, "Hey, what happened?" And I said, "We've got raccoons." We didn't know it. Um, our coop was pretty solid as it was, but probably wasn't 100% predator proof. Uh, uh, but that that right there was enough to wake us up and say, "Okay, we got to step our game up." You know, what do we gotta do to make sure that raccoons don't get into our coop? Because in in our area, raccoons are our number one. Uh, raccoons are the number one problem we're gonna face with predators. Uh, we, you know, in other places, you're gonna have coyotes, you're gonna have minks, weasels, foxes, hawks, owls, um, neighbors' cats and dogs. But our number one problem here is gonna be raccoons, and so, so we had to figure out what we, what we had to do to prevent against a raccoon attack on our coop. And that got our wheels turning, got our got us researching. Angela's a wonderful research. Uh, she has the patience for it, I don't. Uh, so we did everything we possibly could to start stepping up our game, doing everything we can just to, hey, do this, do that, do this, do that. You know, layers of protection, layers of protection. And really the first thing we did when we noticed all that corn was pulled down was start thinking about buying an electric fence. Um, it's Premier One is what, is what we use. That's a great fence. Um, we put it around our garden in reality to keep everything out of our gardens. Groundhogs, possums, rabbits, you know, raccoons. We, had, we, we got them all. We had them all at the time. Um, so that's really what we did first was to do that. Um, but also, if a raccoon comes over the fence it's, and grabs that and it comes towards that the garden first it's going to grab that electric fence and and it ain't coming back <laughs> it's going to shock it pretty good and run off so it works twofold it will help protect our coop even though we don't have it around the coop um but if you want to you know if you're trying to range your birds put them get a solar powered electric fence uh it's mo they're mobile here they are everybody's got them i mean i'm not touching it because it's on but these it's got poly wire inside of there and there's, so there's there's electric wires laced throughout it. Um, you get yourself a Premier One fence. Um, it's it's a bit of an investment, uh, a few hundred dollars, but um, it's so worth it. <laughs> it is so worth it. Uh, it's pr just to protect everything. Um, you don't want to put up forth all that work and effort and and time just to have something come along and destroy it. You know, so it's worth that effort. That's, that may be the, the number one thing to do. Just get an electric fence if you, if you can, if it's something that you like to do. But we want to talk about today, uh, especially for all you new chicken coop, new chicken keepers out there, new chicken keeper, especially for all you new chicken keepers out there. Um, what do you need to do to prevent against a predator attack in your coop? Here are the steps we took, we've taken. I'll show them to you as we uh, go through. Uh, the first thing that we that we've done, we actually did um, as we built the coop, is the bottom the bottom layer of our wire. It's hardware cloth. Okay, you see here, besides some chickens, you see this bottom layer is hardware cloth. It's about it's about um, 18 inches. Okay, so this is hardware cloth here. I'm gonna go up and chicken wire. See, hard, chicken wire is easier to pull across, pull out, and break. Uh, Hardware cloth, much harder, much stronger. So that's the first thing we did, was hardware cloth at the bottom. Okay, next thing we, we've done would be, um, after we realized that we had the raccoons, which by the way, we wound up um, having, having to get rid of a dozen raccoons and about two dozen possums. 
uh, some some abandoned properties on the other side of our fences, and they were holed up in there. And so we 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 eliminated from our property uh, quite a few varmints and, and problems. And um, so the next thing we've done though we, is uh, we dug the trench down around our our, our run, and we we put hardware cloth down in there so nothing could dig under. You know. Uh, there's several things you need to do. Uh, you gotta think about that stuff. You know, when you're building your chicken coop and you're, when you're keeping chickens, you gotta think about what your top predators are. What are what are your number one enemies? And then what are the crazy stuff that, that you think could never happen that possibly could happen that maybe someday will happen? You know, you gotta think about crazy scenarios as well. Prevention, spending money on prevention is a lot better than walking in and finding a bunch of de bloody dead chickens everywhere. So it's worth the investment to protect your coop and protect your flock. So hardware cloth is a great thing. Hardware cloth, hardware cloth, hardware cloth. It's a lot stronger than chicken than plain old chicken wire. Okay, and poultry netting is what they'll call it. But it's um, it's a lot stronger, a lot, of, a lot harder for, uh, for anything to rip through. And uh, so that's the number one thing to make sure you use hardware cloth whenever you can, um, and wherever you can. Uh, another thing we've done uh, after we found out that we had. <laughs> that we had raccoon problems as we invested in three of these things here These predator guards see them there do that Let's see it. Yep. See they start flashing so at night See at night what happens is You know it's solar powered. Okay, they have a rechargeable battery in there It's uh, solar powered and it's supposed to mimic the eyes of a raccoon predator so you know raccoons have some have animals that want to attack them too so that's supposed to mimic the eyes of a raccoon's predator something that scares raccoons away um we we don't have we've never had evidence of having raccoons close to the coop uh since we've had those up so it's good enough for me to say they work i believe they work um you have to follow the instructions when you get them I think they cost us about 20 bucks a piece. We got three of those, um, one for each side, since the back side doesn't really have a place for one. Uh, but so we got three of those, and uh, I think they've worked wonderfully. We keep uh, trail cameras out, and that's another thing you need to do. Is we got two trail cameras, one kind of facing going towards the coop, and one facing an area where we, where we, we've seen predators come over before, possums and raccoons and skunks even uh so trail cameras is another thing you need you need to have uh so that you see what's coming into your yard at night uh if you don't know what's out there you're not out there at night uh obviously you're you should be sleeping <laughs> um so you need some control cameras uh game cameras trail cameras hunting cameras whatever whatever somebody wants to call them some form of security camera trail camera to uh to you know tell you what's out there you know see what's what's running around your property at night you never know and uh so that's always good to have you need hardware cloth trail cameras predator guards those are all great things um but raccoons are very very smart creatures okay you gotta think about that raccoons are pretty smart and given the opportunity they can figure something out they can deduce how to operate things uh we've read that raccoons can operate a one-step latch maybe not a two-step latch but at least a one-step latch it's like if you just got a little hook that just goes you know the simple hooks they could probably lift that open and open it up okay let's just face it they they're, they're they can figure that out they're giving them giving them all night you know give them three or four hours to figure something out they're gonna figure it out so you know give yourself a good lock uh, what we've done is the barrel lock you know, so we've done this here. This is the lock we have on our door. You do that and slide open. See? And honestly, see how it's not even? You have to, we have to lift up to make it even. That actually helps it as well. It makes it harder for anything other than a human to unlock it. So that's good. It makes it hard to, for a human to unlock that door. And you can also buy those barrel locks to have um padlocks on if you really want to go go for it we've got actually we've considered it if you really want to go for some super security padlock it
actually what we did instead of a padlock. We thought oh, a padlock might freeze up in the winter time, maybe harder for us to deal with. And if it's up high, Angela's shorter than me, and so she's gonna have a hard time getting to it if it's if there's some kind of like frozen stuff in there. She'd be having a really hard time with it. And so what we chose instead was to use a like a, a spring-loaded clamp. You know, just one of those little things you just push and hook in and let go. Um, so what we chose to do that was we did that instead and put that inside of the uh, of the padlock spot and that should keep that barrel lock because it's an up and down barrel lock so it keeps it from falling down and so that lock will not open as long as that little spring load clamp is in there and that actually <clears throat> while it would be hard for a raccoon to get it there anyways if it could get there I'm not sure it could grab that and ease it out and then figure out the lock it's been awful lot so it's just another step that we choose to protect our locks against any kind of predators. Take it to the side, go around to the side. And uh, once we realized that, hey, we've got problems, we went after it and we double thicked our, double thickness on our windows. See, we've got these windows here. And we only had one, there was only one panel thick to start with. So we made it two panels thick and we use these screws right here. I like these screws. Um, they're actually sheet metal screws, but they've got a really good washer on them and they cinch down really tight. So nothing's going to be able to pull that loose. See, it's not going nowhere. It's just not going to go anywhere at all. I can't. These things are really tight. They do a great job. So we made our windows double thick and hardware cloth. Again, it's hardware cloth. And honestly, it'd be hard to hard for anything to climb this anyways it's got a slick side but still it could I guess you know think about the crazy stuff just because you think just because you think in your mind that an animal can't get there doesn't mean they can't okay so again protection and prevention prevention is so much more valuable than cleanup <laughs> you know I mean you, you don't ever want to clean it up again you never want to have to clean up and so you need to protect and prevent and we did the same thing on our i don't have to show you we did the same thing on our uh on our windows see i'll show you from out here actually see on our windows you know double thick and we gave them the little frame see you did that we did that frame over top of it to really press it down and on this side you see the double thick double thick double thick all your windows so you need some form of protection to keep things from going under, protection from keeping things to breaking through your wire, keep, uh, protection to keep things away, like these predator guards. Okay. Protection from keeping things from tearing open your windows and ripping ripping open your windows and getting in there. And you know what? Probably protection from something coming over top. We're gonna look at, look up here. See, we have. You know, we had to repair part of the roof here where a limb fell on the coop in a storm. I had a tornado warning actually on it. So it may have been a tornado, you don't know. So that dropped a limb right there. We had to repair that. Make sure, so we had to make sure that's secure. And then that vent, see that vent there? There, Angela had the idea that it would be, that it could possibly, possibly in the crazy scenario, it'd be easy for a raccoon to get up there and pull that vent loose because the it's looking kind of raggedy. And, uh, I was like, eh, I don't know, maybe you're right. And so I keep thinking about it. And so I thought, hey, she, she probably is right in reality. And uh, again, prevention is so much better than cleanup. So, hey, why, why not? So I had to climb up there and we screwed in, we screwed a board in over top of that vent and the vent on the backside as well. And uh, that kept. And so now can't, nothing can rip that vent open and get inside the vent. Um, I think we've done a lot of great things there to predator-proof our coop. And that's one thing we just think about. Oh, another thing we've done, uh, show you this. I'm not really sure how much value it has for pre predator protection, but we use this screen, this, uh, this mesh tarp here. See, we use that, that's good for shade. But it's also, it's also good for aerial protection. Uh, you know, hawks could feasibly rip through something. 
so our coop is covered. Okay, so covering your coop is another good thing. Covering your run, I mean, cover your run with a uh, hardware cloth or even a uh, chicken wire at the top. But we also put a solid roof up there with some uh, that corrugated uh, plastic roofing material that you see everybody have. And uh, so we did that for some shade and some shelter from rain and snow, but also for some predator, predator protection. And then we put the mesh tarp. Hawks would have a hard time seeing through that, I believe. Uh, so that helps keep us from uh, hawks seeing in there to be able to um, actually decide to get down in there. So we don't really have a whole lot of aerial, aerial problems. Heck, we've seen owls fly over top. And uh, like in the evenings, kind of, we've seen owls fly over top and not, not even swoop down. So we, uh, <clears throat> I think we got the bases covered, but you never know. I mean, a solid floor also, hey, have a solid floor in your chicken coop. Best, I mean, if at all possible, which it should always be possible, have a solid floor in your chicken coop. Um, you, that, that really makes a big difference from anything being able to tunnel under it. You know, nothing can tunnel under and up in there if, it, if your floor is solid. Okay, <clears throat> so let's review on this. You know, hardware cloth, everywhere possible. Double thick on your windows, across the bottom at least of your uh, run and underneath the ground or some something underneath the ground could be in concrete put concrete or put some pavers in there to keep them from tunnel under into your coop and a lock a two-step latch with some pressure on it it's a lot is the best option really uh these little simple latches a raccoon's gonna get in there in a heartbeat and remember if, even if you have the simple latches like if you have a nest box that you can get your eggs from outside the coop that latch right there matters too if it's a simple latch you know, a raccoon's gonna open that up and get in there and get into your coop that way. It's just going that's gonna happen eventually. They're gonna if they figure out you got chickens, you know, they're they can kill them all. They can get them all easy, all right. And so make sure all of your latches are difficult to open. Honestly, they're locked up, two-step, you know, solid latches. Um, hardware cloth, predator guards. Make sure you just try to keep them away. Um, get some get some uh, trail cameras to make sure you know what's actually coming into your yard you know every night uh, <clears throat> do everything you can you know you need to think about what you need to do to, to keep your animals safe it's a lot better that way um, so all you new chicken keepers any, any the old chicken keepers you know do everything you possibly can and, hey you know what let us know in the comments below if there's something I didn't mention that's a good option to, pr to protect your your flock from predators uh, we always want to hear a great, other great ideas, bounce ideas off each other. Let us know because we want to keep our flock safe as well. And we want others to be able to keep their flock safe. Um, cleaning up birds would not be fun. We haven't had to do that so far and I hope we never have to. Uh, <clears throat> so obviously if you like this video, hey, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, let other people know about our channel, share our videos with people who, whom you think uh, it may help. And um, so like, subscribe, you know, get notifications from when we, uh, for when we upload more videos. All right, so we appreciate you guys watching this video. We love y'all, God bless you, and goodbye.